Hello guys, I'm back. Viewpoint, bubble point, or boiling point. What are the differences between or among these terms? My name is Jabson Costa, and I teach students, graduate, and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. Follow my profile and like this video to have hundreds of content related to chemical process engineering and plant design. In a diagram of phase of a multi-component stream, we have three important regions. We have the liquid region, we have the vapor region, and we have an interface between these two regions, where the stream is in equilibrium between vapor and liquid. So, in this way, when we are doing chemical process engineering and plant design, in, mo in many processes, we need to define what is the state of a fluid. For instance, if I need to do the condensation of my vapor, I need to know what is the temperature and pressure that I am able to achieve that. So, when we talk about bubble point, it means that our stream is in a liquid phase, but any increase in temperature in a given pressure will lead to the first formation of a bubble of vapor. So, it, the stream will reach the region of mix of vapor and condensate of vapor and liquid equilibrium. On the other hand, if we are talking about dew point and it is a term uh, given for hydrocarbon or streams different than air, because when we talk about dew point from air, it is a different concept and I will cover that in another video. So, when you, we have a multi-component stream at vapor phase, and we reduce the temperature of this stream in a given pressure, we will reach a line or a boundary where we will have the formation of the first drop of liquid. And it will get the, uh, the equilibrium between the vapor and liquid. So, when we are talking about fuel point, we are talking about uh, vapor becoming liquid or reaching the liquid vapor equilibrium. When we are talking about bubble point, we are talking about a liquid that is reaching the equilibrium between vapor and liquid. This is possible because in a multi-component stream, we have different boiling points for each component of your fluid. For instance, if you have a stream with butane, propane, Contain, and depending on the amount of components for each one of these, for different temperature, you will have vaporization, different rates of vaporization. And the composition in your gas mixture phase will be different from the composition in the liquid phase or in the condensate phase. So, when we talk about boiling point, when we talk about boiling point, we are talking about a pure component where the bubble point and the dew point are the same. So, the, your, your component will be in equilibrium between bubble point and dew point at a specific pressure and temperature. When we are doing chemical process engineering and plant design, we need to perform the heat and material balance of our process and most often we, we deal with process simulation software. And you need to be aware about the simple concepts because most, most often you need to set what is the vapor fraction of your fluid in order to, do, to perform calculations for heat exchanges, for instance, or to vessel separators. So when you are in the Aspen High Seas, for example, and you have the field for vapor phase, if you type zero, it means that your fluid in a given pressure and with a known composition, it will be a liquid at bubble point. On the other hand, if you have, if you set in your uh, vapor phase one in Aspen High Seas in a given pressure and with a known composition, you will have your stream at dew point. To know how to deal with Aspen High Seas, you can take a look at this video that will appear to you right now. So, share this video with students, graduates, and engineers to help them know more about chemical process engineering and plant design. This is it. I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.